Are your brokerage accounts protected from creditors? All right, what's a brokerage account? It's just a generic word for a non-qualified asset, a non-tax qualified asset. So what's a qualified asset or a tax qualified uh, asset like a 401k or IRA, 457, 403b. So a non-qualified, like a brokerage account, might be stocks and bonds and stuff that you have in the market that aren't in an IRA. They're not in a 401k. They're just in your name or you and your spouse's name. And now let's set up a scenario so you understand, well, why could I possibly be sued? Well, what if you have a, ch a child living at home and something happens with the child? A fight, a fight in school, they get in a car wreck, right? Young people, 16, 18 years old, getting in a car wreck could never happen, right? Of course it could happen. It happens all the time and they can be really, really bad. Uh, what about you driving? Have you ever heard of a stroke or a seizure while someone's driving? Happens all the time. You have no control of it. It's not like you're going out and getting drunk or stoned and then driving. You literally just have a seizure or a stroke, bam. You get in a wreck, you get sued for hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. Maybe you fall asleep at the wheel on a long trip or something, uh, or you've just been super tired, hadn't been sleeping well, and you fall asleep on the way to work. I'm just giving you some scenarios to think through, but if you get sued, they can go after a lot of your assets. One of those assets that they can go after are your brokerage accounts. You got $200,000, $500,000, five million million sitting in your brokerage account, get in a car wreck, get sued, get that judgment, and they go and take those assets from you. But there's ways that you could potentially protect that. There's several ways that you could do it. You could protect it potentially with an LLC. You could protect it with an IPUG. You could protect it with a uh, certain types of irrevocable uh, trusts, some that you could even maintain control, investment control over, um, and others that you lose investment control over. But there's different flavors depending on what you need and what you want, what you're looking for. You could also look at certain types of life insurance products, but depending on the state, every state's different in how they treat those. Texas is very favorable at the moment on how they treat uh, those. So there's a lot of different avenues that we could talk about, but that giant nest egg, a lot of people have their big nest eggs, you know, in their home, their IRA, 401k, and in their brokerage account. So those are probably the three biggest kind of areas that we see. <clears throat> Your home, if you have a homestead exemption, in Texas, then it could be protected from creditors. Your IRA in Texas may be protected from creditors. Your brokerage account is probably susceptible unless you take a measure to protect it. I'm Mike Massey. I've helped over a thousand families with estate planning and asset protection and other law related items. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Just look us up at Mike Massey Law, mytxwills.com, mytxwills.com. Click below for more information. Visit our website. We'd love to have a consultation with you. Thanks and have a blessed day.